Speaking of areas impacted by saltwater intrusion, in southwest Louisiana, saltwater is contaminating surface water, making rice farming there difficult. Winter rainfall is helping alleviate the problem to some degree, but as Toby Blanchard reports, regular rains must continue to fall if rice producers are to see any real benefit come planting season. Darrell Romaine farms rice and crawfish around Kaplan. Saltwater intrusion has been a problem for him and other farmers that rely on fresh water from the Mermintaw Basin for their crops. Recent rainfall that drenched the southwestern part of the state was badly needed, but they could use more. It's helped out a little bit. I just don't think it's enough for us to plant rice yet. Uh, we still need to be very cautious about where we're going to plant rice and make sure that we have a good water source before we plant. Several factors are contributing to the increased salinity levels in freshwater sources. The Leland Bowman locks in Intracoastal City, which were hit by a barge in September, are allowing salt water to flow into the basin. Leaks along levees and canal banks also let salt water leach into canals and streams. Both of these issues have been further complicated by drought. With the lack of rain for the last couple of years, the water level has been uh, lower, and with higher tides, uh, it's just been pumping salt water into the basin causing salinities to uh, rise. Romaine was forced to pump salt water onto his rice fields last year. This led to a reduction in yields. Without more rain, he and other farmers may have to let some fields sit fallow. This year it's going to basically reduce our planting acres by a lot. And uh, it's affecting the crawfish because we aren't able to pump the salt water onto our crawfish ponds to keep fresh water on our pond. High salinity levels can kill young rice plants. If not flushed out by rain, the salt also can sit in fields and affect subsequent crops. Crawfish are more tolerant of salt than rice, but after the crawfish harvest, ponds are typically drained and rice is planted in the field. For This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, this is Toby Blanchard with the LSU Ag Center. Rice acreage is expected to be down in Louisiana this year because of saltwater intrusion as well as depressed rice prices.